we're going to talk about something a little bit different today. Something that I don't get involved with too often. But uh, when I do, I sure have, I, I enjoy it. I really, I really like working on this stuff. And uh, there's not a lot of knowledge on it out there. There's not a lot of, uh, there's not many places you can go and to find out about this. So we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. I'll try and make it as short as I can. Okay, this is an injector pump for a tractor, for a diesel tractor. It's actually for a Ford and uh, it's four cylinder but they it's called this is called the sims pump s-i-m-m-s -M -M and anybody that is watching this video to learn about this pump already knows what they're, they're looking at because they've got one on their on their ford uh, that's primarily what they were used on but uh, anyway w what it was this was just an old core that i bought i think i gave 50 bucks for it or something on ebay and uh, i tore it all apart and i am right in the process of reassembling it and uh, it's actually quite simple, quite straightforward. Um, what you've got is uh, you've got a shaft, you've got, a, you got, you got your main shaft, and that's just got a roller bearing on both ends, and that engages in this end. That roller bearing is in here, so that shaft comes right out in one piece. And uh, the, the tricky part is, is here in the... Um, Okay, this 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 shaft here that goes through that feeds through, all right, it rotates. See how it turns? Okay, and to get it together properly, you 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 first you first got to engage this arm. This arm goes up into the rack, right? There's a there's a slot right there where it where it engages to in the rack. It's very obvious when you have it in your hand, and then. The shaft, this shaft slides through, and you take this this nut out, this nut and this bolt. There's a bolt on the other side. You can see the head of it there. Okay, that comes out and then allows the shaft to slide right out through the spring. And the spring only goes on one way. It's got the it's got the the shoes of the spring. What I call shoes of the spring. You can you can you can see there how it how them shoes go towards that washer okay you don't want obviously you don't want the the other part of the spring on the washer because it would tear it up okay so what's happening is when you're when you're pulling the throttle on this thing okay you're you're rotating the throttle this way see in this direction which is pushing on that collar which shoves the rack that way and then the governor, as it spins, it's fighting the other direction. It's pulling this way. You see, and that's what it'll do, is it'll pull that rack back. See how it moves? So the faster this goes, those weights start to fly out. And they will push back on the rack. So that, that's how it works. And there's your, there's your fuel setting up here. Anybody with a Sims knows what this screw is. What that does is that stops the travel the rotational travel of this I don't know if you can see that and and right up in the in the very top up there is the stop point and when you turn that screw you raise that up and down okay so that's really all there is to that now assembling the rest of the you got your roller lifters okay see if I can do this without this light in my hand you got your roller lifters, which set down into the body. They just feed down into the body. But the tricky part is, unless you've done this before, there's this little T right here that engages down into that slot. Let me see if I can do it so that you can see how that works. All right? There's the T, and here's the slot that it fits in. There, I got it right in. Now, now it's in that slot, and what that does is that engages, that slot engages into this, oh, rollers just fell apart, no big deal. Um, well, by the way, you can see here how your roller lifter comes apart. It all just disassembles real easy. And then you got a, a shaft that goes in here. And I just oiled that up nice before I, before I put it in, and that's it. 
All right, oh, it lines up. Yeah, there we go. So now when you when you go to put your when you go to put your your roller lifter in, that flat right there on that lifter comes up against the side of that little T that I just put in there so that it keeps these from revolving in the bore. That's the point. Okay? Because you don't want your lifters turning in the bore because they'll be skidding on the they'll be skidding on the on the camshaft, right? So okay, so we're gonna get that in there. And there we go. Oh, not quite. I know what it is. I gotta push this over. That little flat that little T has got to be shoved over against the other lifter and then this will go in and there we go okay now all four are in there right now that's the basic body and then you have oh to get the rack out what you do this is the rack okay these are set screws um, okay there's a set screw on each one of these now this is your this is your adjustment okay now I'll turn this a little bit and you'll see how this slides. See how that can slide? Okay, when, when, you're in, when you're, and I'm gonna have this put on a machine, they're gonna adjust these. So what happens is, when they're adjusting to get the fuel flow the same on every cylinder, they're gonna slide those. And why do they do that? Because here's your plunger and barrel, which we're gonna go over in a second. This plunger and barrel engages into that. I don't know if you can see that. It engages into that. Um, that adjustable, adjustable uh, bracket right there that's on the rack that locks down to the rack. So what's happening is when the rack moves this way, you can see down in there how it looks. It's engaged into this arm and this arm rotates and that's going to change your fuel flow. This is the plunger and barrel assembly. And uh, you can see what that looks like when it's apart. This is the old one. Okay, there's a there's a barber pole. See that barber pole right there? As this rotates, the spill point changes. So your effective stroke becomes greater or less depending upon where that barber pole is in relation to the to the vent inside the inside the barrel so that's how you can see the hole down in the barrel there right on the side of it okay so as this rotates your effective displacement changes so that's how you go from an idle to wide open throttle is just by rotating the, the the plunger and which brings us to the final point here why, why am I doing this well okay here's the um, the block that sits on top and I know there's a there's a technical name for that, but I don't know what it is. So what happens is your plungers and barrels fit into this block. They 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 they're indexed. There's a there's a there's a wide spot on it right there. You can see so it can only go in one way because there's the wide spot in there, right? So so when you put that plunge, that barrel down in there, it's going to stick out. It's going to it's going to come down in here and it's going to stick out and it'll be indexed right there we go I actually got it lined up and then your your um, your spring and all that goes in here okay and that's up there like that all right you get the point and then on top what you have is you've got a delivery valve that holds that holds the that holds this down that that delivery valve screws on there Okay, here's your actual delivery valve. This is going to go here, and then, and then here's the valve itself. This lifts up when that when that plunger pushes the fuel out. This lifts up against the spring right here, and it pushes up and lets the fuel come through, and ultimately out of the out. This this is where your fuel uh, lines attach to right here that go to your injectors. So this is where the fuel comes out. So that's how that works. That's that's uh, that's how your Sims pumps work. And what I'm doing is I've got some new plungers and barrels, and they're they're sometimes referred to as elements. And these here are nine and a half, and they have 
they, they do not have, the magic of these is the, the factory, the factory um, plungers and barrels have got an extra slot in them. And these do not. And, and so the, these here, and, and, the, and, the, and the extra slot in the factory plunger and barrels has to do with the relief at starting. It's this guy right here. When you rotate it a certain way, it'll start letting the fuel bypass. And this plunger and barrel does not have that. So you get the full effective stroke out of this. Plus this is 9.5 millimeter. That's a 7.5. So you're getting way more fuel. Um, I think I did the math and it's... it's uh, oh, actually I did, the, I did do the math. Um, this, uh, this one here, you take the radius squared times pi and you get your uh, displacement. So you, know, you get how many cubic inches per stroke and then you got to multiply that times 1,000 and you can figure out your cc's. So theoretically these plungers and barrels at full rack would have the ability to pass this pump would be considered 495 but I don't think I'm going to get that out of it. I think I'll probably maybe be lucky to get 300, 350 but that's still a lot of fuel. So this is why we're, this is what we're doing and uh, uh, you know you pay a lot of money to a, to a, to a pump shop for the work um, and I'm just going to do it myself and then I'm going to take it over and have it put on a flow bench where they will make, like I say, they will make these final adjustments and then they will give me a readout. They will, they will print out a readout that will, will tell me what the fuel delivery is, the actual fuel delivery. And they'll get each one of these sets so that each, each plunger is putting out the same fuel. Because, you know, you don't want one putting out more than the other because in that cylinder, that one cylinder is going to be working harder than the others. Hard, harder than the others. Because you know, in the diesel world, fuel is everything. So you give it more fuel, you get more power. I mean, to a point where you start running out of air. But um, so anyway, so that's what we're doing here, and uh, uh, going to try and have it together for our uh, our fair, and uh, which is in a couple weeks, and we'll see how it goes. So if you have any questions about the Sims pump, uh, if I can help you, I'll be glad to. Just uh, feel free. Thanks. Thanks for watching the video.